episode, we have Sammy Sadicario, who is the who is a creative story worker and helps creatives love themselves. I'm gonna let her take it away. So Sammy, tell our listeners, what is your magical art? Thanks so much. So I am the creative story worker. I guide people pleasing artists to love themselves unconditionally through my creativity ignition method. Mm-hmm. I started doing this. Um, it's a funny story. You ask like, what is your magical art? And I'm like, I always say, it's hard to know when you know you're in the middle of figuring that out. Mm-hmm. Um, somebody once asked me, what is your origin story? And I was like, I'm in the middle of it. How could I tell you that? <laughs> but I started as an actor. I was a, headed towards the whole Broadway thing, um, degree in musical theater. And I was super, super unhealthy. I was 60 pounds overweight. I really hated myself to just be blunt. And I got a gig in Portland singing on a cruise, um, which is our mutual friend. That's how I met her. And I, during that time, got super healthy. I took a year to lose, to lose 30 pounds. Um, and really learn healthy habits, learn how to eat well, what is food, what is real food, and what is exercise um, other than cardio, because I I hate cardio, I don't know about you, it it turns out it's not as, not the end all be all, and I realized once I did this, once I finally stopped dieting, and and put all of like those health hacks aside, and just moved toward real food, and movement, that everyone needed to know this and we can kill the diet industry. So I decided to become a coach myself. Um, and about three to six months into coaching, I realized, oh, I hate selling weight loss <laughs> because it's not what I believe in. I believe in loving yourself so much that you want to eat well and you want to take care of yourself. Um, and then story work found me. Actually, I volunteered to expose my traumas on a live training and the person who developed this method called me afterwards and said hey you are meant to be a story work coach and I said I think you're right (laughs) and the rest is kind of history um and now I use it I use this method to guide my clients to guide creative people to turn down trauma turn down negative self-talk turn up the wins turn up the love and learn how to set clear goals and actually implement them without procrastination. The episode isn't quite over yet, listeners. Or YouTubers. If you haven't given us a like, subscribed, left us a review, or commented on any platform, we would really appreciate you showing us some love here at the Magical Holistic Healing Arts. Remember, Kangen Water and our grab bag for the podcast. Thanks so much for listening and stay vibrant out there.